Welcome to our short video on Go Analyze. We will show you how to speed up analysis and quoting with SDL Throttle Studio. So first, let's configure Go Analyze using the graphical user interface. Here we have translation memory connections, which we can store on a client-specific basis, and we also have some general settings. Let's look at those first. To start with, you can select an analysis output format, HTML, 2009, or also 2007 legacy formats. Uh, we can tell Go Analyze where to store. Uh, the files for the analysis and also what names they should get using some parameters like target language in this case. For the legacy 2007 analysis uh, we have some uh, options, for instance how to handle perfect matches which might not have existed in 2007 scenarios or in context matches which definitely did not exist in 2007. So we can either add them as 100% matches or uh, not add them at all, completely remove them etc. We can also optionally turn on uh, internal fuzzy matching just as we have it in studio. For the other general output options, we can save a list of all the files that were analyzed, including the file type that was used, a very handy feature. Uh, we can also generate a cost calculation table as a top file, uh, and we can generate a great looking quote by using an Excel template. So let's look at what this Excel template uh, can look like, for instance, uh, and you can completely freely design this. Uh, so we're opening Excel, of course, in German here on my demo system. Uh, we can um, add some things here, for instance, we can put the different uh, company name here um, and um, a quote number maybe. Uh, so let's just put something here so we can see it afterwards and maybe a project name. Um, and all the data will be entered into this Excel sheet by Go Analyze a little further down by using parameters. So let's store it. Um, and then uh, let's look at the client settings. So you can see we have clients. You can uh, add as many clients as you, f you want to, give them a certain name. And you can see this client already has a German and French translation memory. Um, so let's add another one. You can see it can be file-based or server-based. And it can also be a multilingual translation memory if it's server-based. Um, so let's look for our Japanese TM. Here it is. Um, I open it. Uh, and once I connect it, Go Analyze will uh, check in Studio what languages are in this TM to prevent misconfiguration. Uh, so it reads from the TM that this is US English to uh, Japan, Japanese for Japan. Uh, and you can see it was added. Uh, we can uh, give a penalty. So if you have multiple TMs, you can penalize one of them. Let's look at the language settings for each TM. Uh, these settings are all the same that you have for the analysis settings in Studio. Uh, and over here on the other side, uh, we have the costing information, which of course we need uh, for each type um, of word count uh, and each language. So what I can do is also I can copy all the settings that I already have uh, defined for German and I just paste them into Japanese so we are a little bit quicker. In the general settings, you can define which studio version to use for this client if you have more than one installed. Uh, and this is important if you have custom XML file types. Um, so let's analyze some files. I have prepared uh, three demo files here uh, in different formats, uh, a Word doc, a PowerPoint, and an, Excel, an XML file. Uh, and if I right mouse click it, I get a context menu where, for instance, I could select Analyze. Then Go Analyze will basically give me an interface or a window uh, that shows me all the files and all the languages available, and I can start the analysis. Uh, or I can immediately also select a target language from the context menu. And I can also do that by dragging and dropping all the files onto the desktop icon of Go Analyze. Go analyze. So what I get, first of all, uh, is a list of all the files that were analyzed, plus the file type uh, that was used for the analysis. Um, I also get this list as a log file. Uh, so let's open it up briefly. So you see here is the list of file files that are included in the analysis. Um, I also get uh, the classical HTML analysis file result um, that you probably know from Studio. Uh, with yeah, just looks exactly the same as it does in Studio. Um, I get the costing calculation if I want it uh, as a tab separated file with uh, the pricing here for each uh, type um, of word. Uh, and I get our great looking quote, which we have previously configured with demo company, etc. And then down here, you get all the individual uh, words for each match type uh, with all the pricing, including the discount and the after tax uh, total sum. Um, so we hope uh, you enjoy Go Analyze and we invite you uh, to download it from our website and try it out for free.